Welcome to 3D Flow Academy. This video tutorial is focused on using 360 degrees input. There are many devices that allow you to record 360 degrees input either as images or as video streams. These devices are usually referred as omnidirectional cameras. They employ a set of cameras and post-process the image into one single frame. This frame is composed according to a certain projection and is not directly usable in Zephyr, as Zephyr relies on pinhole cameras and not 360 degrees composed shots. In this case, we are using a dataset courtesy of NC Tech, made with one of their great HDR cameras. Most omnidirectional cameras compose their output as a rectangular projection, which Zephyr can automatically decompose into six 90 degrees field of view images. In order to process this kind of input, it is first mandatory to decompose it into pinhole cameras. It is mandatory to have more than one equirectangular view in order to proceed with the reconstruction process. If you are dealing with a 360 degrees video stream, the first step would be to use Zephyr's import video functionality in order to transform it into stills. If you are dealing with images, you can directly open the Decompose Equirectangular Images utility from the Utility Images menu. Feed your images or still frames to this tool and click Decompose to transform each equirectangular input into six pinhole cameras. This represents a cube, so you will get top, bottom, front, left, right and back views of the same frame. Please note that the photo limitation of Zephyr Free and Zephyr Lite considers the extracted frames and not the original panoramas. As you can see, Zephyr adds a suffix to these images. This allows Zephyr to assume the decomposed image relative constraints during the structure from motion phase, helping the camera orientation phase. Be aware of the tripod that supports your device. You may want to either discard completely the bottom views or mask them. Most likely, bottom views in this case will be discarded unless you have a broader view from other cameras. Once you have eventually discarded or masked certain images, simply proceed down the Zephyr reconstruction pipeline as you normally would. Notice how the control point selection tool allows navigation between the decomposed views. This methodology can be good for quick capture setups, however, you must be 100% sure that your device is saving with the equirectangular projection. Fisheye cameras are not equirectangular. You can safely mix images taken with a normal pinhole camera with images taken with 360 degrees cameras. Just remember to decompose the 360 degrees cameras first. This is how an equirectangular projection image looks like. Thank you for watching and don't forget to join our 3D Flow Academy Facebook group in order to vote for the next video tutorial.